Hi everyone, Cinder here, and welcome to another day in Stardew Valley. It's going to be cloudy with gusts of wind throughout the day tomorrow. Spirits are in good humor today, and so am I, but first, living off the land, it's blackberry season. Which you had that before. And we know Penny is up here, but I've... Oh, well, no, she's not, actually. <laughs> Maybe over here. Nope, probably out for the day. But, luckily, I have somebody with me today that's... As close as Penny is to me in this game, I have my actual girlfriend, uh, goes by Knight of Skylark here. Say hi, honey. Hi, Knight of Skylark here, aka Finn Feather Dragon. How's everybody doing? There you go. And, uh, I'll end up calling her Finn or Sky, just depending on what hits me. And with that, we will... What do you think of this tile, by the way? It looks like kitchen tile, honestly. Then that should be kitchen tile. Then we're just gonna yeah. have tile all the way through. <laughs> no, like in the main room, you should have like carpet or hardwood or something. Oh, there she There's is. Penny. I just saw a songbird flying due west. In Stardew Valley, that's a very good omen. Oh, yeah, actually, you should do Penny's voice. You should talk as Penny. <laughs> okay. I just saw a songbird flying due west. In Stardew Valley, that's a very good omen. I didn't know that. Kiss. <laughs> <laughs> Now we've lost like 95% of the audience, but that's fine. <laughs> Whatever. It's gonna be like this the whole video, folks. Get yep. over it. I found this in a drawer somewhere. I thought you could use it. <laughs> um, so if you have questions for me or for Finn, let me know in the comments. Well, let us know in the comments, I should say. And we will answer those. I've got one question. That, uh, left, so if you want your questions answered, this is a great episode to ask. <laughs> Um, and that is, and, like, I actually wrote down the whole thing. I don't know why I wasn't doing that. I was just writing down, like, the gist of it. But, hi, Sin. Do you read visual novels? If yes, can you give us some of your opinions? I actually don't read visual. I don't, uh, do visual novels. I know they're a big thing on Steam now, so I've got some opinions. But, uh, do you, honey, do you read visual novels? I haven't done them personally, but I've seen people play them, like, the Left 4 Dead series. And Game of Thrones. Okay. Gotcha. Um, you consider those visual novels? I guess so, huh? Well, well, mm, well Telltale, I mean, it's like, it's a story, but it's a game at the same time, so kind of... It's, it's close enough. I'm actually going to turn the game volume down a little bit. Um, yeah, I guess so. Like, we, we, I had that discussion already, I think, on a Stardew Valley, if you remember. And then where we I come on Steam. Where I stream, come down. Sorry. Oh yeah, I talked about it on stream. Where I come down on Telltale games. I think yeah. I talked about it in Stardew Valley. I want to say you did maybe ten episodes back. I have no idea. Yeah, somewhere. Anyway, so yeah, I guess so. Um, I have seen a few of those, but I think uh, the person was talking more like, um, oh man, like that visual novel, like whole genre on, uh, like on Steam. Do you know what I'm talking about? No, I get what you're talking about, yeah. Um, have you have you uh, seen any of those? Um, there's only one I can think of off the top of my head, and it's not very appropriate, so I'm going to keep my mouth shut. Okay, <laughs> well, at least you've seen you've seen one. I've not you know, seen or played one personally. Um, I know they're a huge deal on Steam now. Like, I, I, I've seen them more and more and more. Um, I guess with visual nozzle novels, blah, can't talk, my gosh. Anyway, That's fine. I, with, everybody with, thinks I can't either, so. <laughs> no, with me is I like to write for a hobby, so I tried to spell out how I could, like, what the scene's going on, like, so they could visualize it in their head, mm -hmm. but with the visual no novel thing, to me, it's, I guess it's kind of like a comic book, would that be a good way to describe it? Yeah, I guess so. It depends on the visual novel, because sometimes it's it has like a Mass Effect type thing, yeah. where you get to you get to choose. It's like a choose your own adventure mix with the comic book, and there's multiple endings kind of deal. La 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 la. Yeah, if you for those of you that don't know what a visual novel is, um, a visual novel is much less a game than it is a story. And what happens is you take on the role of a protagonist. And sometimes you just read through them, but usually what happens is uh, you're given options at certain points. And uh, what, how you choose dictates how the story will go, to some degree. 
Um, like the Telltale games are kind of a kind of an example. Um, typically, would you say they're more not necessarily adult in nature, but more uh, I don't know. Deal deal with like uh, love and like more adult themes. Or? Yeah, yeah, kind of more more adult-ish themes. I would I would say at least all the visual novels I've seen. Yeah, yeah, I could agree to that. The only one I can think of off the top of my head is I would call very adult, or there was like more adult things you wouldn't necessarily want your teenager reading or something. So that's the only ones I can think of right now, honestly. Yeah, and that's what a lot of the ones on Steam that are. But I know there's some there's some more kid friendly ones and things like like that as well. <clears throat> yeah, you alright? Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> so, uh, but I. What I can't talk about visual novels is just how uh, how popular they have grown. Because it seems like every time I log on to Steam in like popular new releases, there is there usually is a visual novel on there. Well, I think it kind of like I was comparing them to comic books because people, let's be honest, before the internet, there was comic books and books and such on to read where a visual novel, you wouldn't have to have a piece of paper that would get ruined by your bookshelf, stolen by your little brother, ripped apart, it's safe on your computer or whatever to read at your leisure. So, I guess that's my idea of it. Okay. There you go. I think um, part of it has to do with just because, uh, like, the whole superhero thing has, like, come back. Oh God, yes. You know, in a huge way. That I think that that has a little, a little bit to do with it. People are just more op open-minded about stories in general, mm -hmm. and that's kind of led to visual novels as well. And I think they're a cool idea. My deal is just the price point. You know how prices you've seen. Oh man, I want to say five to ten dollars. For, for a visual novel, which which actually which isn't bad. Um. Oh, cutscene. Oh. Cutscene type thing. Because making friends with everybody. Up here, secret stash. Secret stash. Oh. Who's in the bedroom? What's up here? <laughs> oh man, got caught. <laughs> How'd you find that? Well, you know, I do have a lot of ranks at finding treasures. I've played so many RPGs that... What? Give it to me! Sure. Promise me you won't tell anyone about this. Wife what deserves to know about that? this. No, no, no. Your, your secret is safe with me, Pierre. Appreciate that. Forget you ever saw this. I'll just forget you were snooping around my bedroom. Fair enough. Now I have to find a new hiding spot. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. <laughs> oh, that's great. Well, that's what you get for snooping and find someone's secret stash of seeds. I'm sorry. I know, and he was going to sell those to me. Now he's not. It's a shame. No. Uh, mm, oh, the wallpaper could be neat. I don't know about the flooring. I don't care for it. The leaves on the wallpaper look kind of pretty. Yeah, I do like that. You bought two, three. <laughs> I know. Because it only okay. does one wall. Alright. <laughs> and it, what I've seen is that it changes every day. Yeah, pretty much. So I need I need to come in here more often. And, uh, but farm. And check. Yep, yeah, but farm. Which, everything was watered. Almost everything. Which I guess is from yesterday. Because I did it late. Anyway... <laughs> Um, that's about all I have for visual novels. Do you have anything else about visual novels you want to add? Not, not that I can think of. Great. Um, thanks for the question. And if you have more questions, feel free to to uh, leave them in the comments below. I'm going to try this out. I liked this one. I wish I could have bought more of just the plain. Plain, plain old whatever. Yeah. I like the clouds. <laughs> I do like the clouds. So we're going to try this one here. Eh, I don't like the color. I like Back the leaves. I don't like. I like how it's like the a fallish color, but yeah, it's kind of odd with the shadow underneath all the leaves. I don't know. 
I don't know. It's it's, it's a little too dark for me. I like yeah. the leaves. I like Do the leaves. The other wallpaper? Huh? The other wallpaper. Where'd it go? Uh, it just disappears. It's just gone. That's lame. I know. It's just gone. You figured it'd go back into your inventory like a lot of other things do. I but can no. understand the default one disappearing, but yes. come on. Yeah, no, it's just gone forever. <laughs> hey. Actually, I know what I can do right now. No, it's thirsty. She's not at the store. I was going to go uh, check prices with Robin. I thought it was Tuesday. Oh, I think it's Thursday. I think she goes to aerobics class on Thursday. Okay, I know Pierre is Wednesday, so... Yeah, it's just shop closing on Wednesday. Okay, so she's either Tuesday or Thursday. Oh, no. Tuesday, oh. you're right. Zah. Let's see. <laughs> I'm going to get used to saying that. Um, Construct farm buildings. Let's see. Sheeps and pigs. Get your truffles. Rabbits. Now, you said I don't need the... Did you ever look that up? Do I need the I deluxe did. coop? I did. As long as you have the incubator and room in the coop, you don't need the deluxe coop. Unless you just want it. For, um, I want it later. Bunnies. But yeah, I want it later for the bunnies. Um, okay, the sheep's a pig of this. Um, Five fifty and three hundred seven. That's I'm having to resist the urge to move my mouse to move your character around. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird sitting back and watching. Then, uh, when when you're in the conversation, but you're just watching, like it's different yeah. watching a video because you know you're watching a video. But when you're actively a part of this. But not completely. <laughs> yeah. It's an it's an interesting experience. That is for sure. I would like to do it someday. <laughs> <laughs> Sit back and just commentate on somebody else's um, let's play. Preferably a channel that's bigger than mine. <laughs> you get did you know gaming's attention? You can voice over one of their videos. Yeah, right. I'll get right on that. I would love to do that, but I'm not, jeez, everybody they've had on there. I'm not JonTron, I'm not Danny, I'm not Aaron, Conroy. I'm not Chugga Conroy. Um, if you did get on Did You Know Gaming, what would game would you want to do? Oh, man. That's a fantastic question. <laughs> Might have to uh... save that one for tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, we'll save that one for tomorrow. That's a good one. I'll have to think about it, too. If, uh... Dude, did you know gaming? Man, cause uh, cause I I don't know which games they've already done, so that's the that's the deal. I know they've done a lot of games already. Oh, I was as, grabbing the stone and wood. As old as their channel is and how many videos they have, I have no earthly clue. Uh, I don't watch that much. Did you know gaming? Honestly, but uh, like I know they've been around forever and they do really good work. Um, oh yeah. It'd be an RPG of, of some kind. Probably. Tune in tomorrow to find out. <laughs> That's something I can talk about right now. You know, I don't do that very much. I don't I don't leave the audience uh, coming back, which is, I know I should, but I don't because that's just not how I, that's not how I operate. I don't want to leave people hanging. You don't like cliffhangers? No, I, I don't like leaving people on cliffhangers. Um, because with my background in electronic media, I know what it mainly is. It's just to get people to come back for the next episode. Yeah. And I don't, I don't feel like I want to... I don't want to, like, cheat people that. Thanks, Robin. Um, so unless it's just, like, way too good, I mean, like really good like I'll do a cliffhanger every once in a while when it's just right. too good not to not to pass up when the situation yeah. calls for it yeah but overall I don't like cliffhangers too much sometimes they just happen naturally with the time of the episode mm -hmm. um, that happened a few times in Legend of Lagaya. like I just got a natural really good cliffhanger at around 30 minutes and it's just like well <laughs> we'll just do that but uh, I know it. I know it's a uh, not a trick. It's a uh, gimmick. We're no. not quite a gimmick. Um, it's a tool, I guess you could say. It, it's it, it's a tool that people use just to get the audience to come back. And I know that's what it is. 
And so... Well, I've been watching your Dragoon um, LP, and I know at one point the... Like you said, the cliffhanger matched up perfectly with your end video time, so it just works. Yeah, yeah. so it just works. Yeah, when it ends up like that, you know, I'll, I'll typically use it just because it, it fits too well. But for the most part, I, I really don't I really do not do that. I let people, you know, experience the whole the whole thing. And then I just hope they come back. Like they I, I'm I'm hoping that the that the viewers appreciate that I don't do cliffhangers all the time. Mm -hmm. And that, you know, they'll they'll stick around because of that. Has it worked or not? I don't know. <laughs> it's hard oh. to say. I think you've gotten at least maybe a hundred people since I've found you. So I guess Woo! something's working. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> small victories, huh? Small yeah. victories. Yeah, it, it it really is, especially with, with Let's Playing, with the way the way it is these days. It's it's all about small victories and um like that that's a lesson to all all you uh young let's players out there or new let's players you don't necessarily have to be young when i say that i just mean like newer let's players um small victories in everything because you're uh there is a 99.9 .9 chance that you're not going to become huge overnight and it takes a lot of work a lot of videos um and a lot of luck like I talked about this before. There's just a lot of luck into it. You know, all it takes is one super passionate person to see your video and sp spread the word to like 500 people and make your channel grow. You just have to be lucky that that one person finds your stuff. Are you talking about luck? I know a couple people, the big names, um, I think Markiplier was Jack Septicai. Markiplier men mentioned Jack. Everyone from Markiplier went to Jack, and next we know he's exploded. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. It just takes, and I, I, you, you have to, you have to hope for that. You have to hope that one. I know, um, Lucky Seven DX, who I don't watch anymore, but I know he's, he's pretty big now. Um, he had around the same subscribers that I do right now. When, uh, Ghost Robo, who's really big now, back then he had like. He was still huge. He had like 500,000 subscribers. Um, had a contest to happen. This is before I started Let's Play. Had a contest to uh, like promote people. Mm -hmm. And it ended up being too much work. And he didn't want to do it. But he did one. And it was Lucky's video. So Lucky got lucky. So Lucky, lucky got super lucky. And he, he jumped from like... 3,000 to 7,000, like, overnight. Damn. <laughs> and then now, and when you get a big boost like that, you your videos end up being seen by more people. And so his, his channel really did start to grow after that. It just takes one. And that's what I hope. Like, with every video that I make, it just takes one person finding it, one person, you know, spreading it to the right person, showing the right person. It just takes getting lucky once to really have your channel explode. Now, you have to have good content as well, and, like, I think I do, but it just takes one. Yeah. So share on Twitter. What? Yeah, so, no. <laughs> I'm glad you said that. So it, it it really does, you know. Share it on Twitter. Share it with your friends. Um, share it with people that you know, and just... I always say try to get the word out about the channel. I think it's it's not, I don't know, decorum to go on somebody else's channel and promote another person. Like, I don't like it when people do that on my channel, unless, you know, I'm specifically asked about it. Or, uh, I, I know I don't, so I wouldn't want somebody to go do that for me. But... I mean, sometimes that may be what it takes to become to become known. Um, Speaking of channels, though, um, guys, don't go looking for my channel. There is nothing on it. There's I'll nothing. Say it right now. Yeah, I'm the let's player. <laughs> <laughs> so watch this channel and and enjoy. Um, one last note. 
please do try to sp spread the word about the channel. Um, I'm not going to tell you, tell you how. You can use Twitter, Facebook. You know, just basically when I say that, all you have to do is share the video and then tell the people that you share the video with to share that video. Pick a video that you really like of mine, one that you, you had a ton of fun with, that was uplifting for you, that um, you care a lot about, just one that you really like and you think shows off what's best about the channel and share it. And then tell the people that you share it with to please share it with people that they know. All it takes is just one, you know, one little little snowball to start rolling. And then like we just gave a few examples here, the channel could grow exponentially overnight. It's possible. But you all have to do it because I already tried to do that with putting the videos out and um, trying to give all of you a good time. You all really help the channel grow. I say it often and I really mean it. It's up to you. Any last uh, comments, love? Uh, not that I can think of, really. All right. Well, then that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. We hope you enjoyed and had a lot of fun. Let us know in the comments um, any questions you have for me and or Finn and uh, what you thought of her being on uh, Stardew. Be nice. This is my first time doing this, people. <laughs> Please be kind. She is my girlfriend. Um <laughs> Until the next episode for Finn. I swear you say something. I. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've, I've really got nothing. Huh? <laughs> We're walking on that. I'm Cinderella 9. Remember to shoot for the stars and take care, everyone.